The year's largest showcase of video games has, once again, come to an end. This year's E3 may only have been a series of online live streams, but it did not disappoint as there was something for everyone this year. Whether you're a fan of action games, 2D side-scrollers, RPGs, or all of the above, there were a number of games that stood out above the rest in both the presentation and sheer hype. Here are our picks for the top games showcased at this year's E3. Elden Ring, it's about time. Shown during Summer Game Fest hosted by Jeff Keighley, Elden Ring's first gameplay trailer was the star of E3. Soulborne fans have gone two years with zero communications or announcements on the game from its developer, From Software. It's been so quiet that fans have taken into inventing their own lore for the game on Reddit. The trailer was a sigh of relief for fans who finally got a glimpse of the open world action RPG Hidetaka Miyazaki and George R.R. R. Martin have had a hand in crafting. The video showed off some of the environments, enemies, and bosses that players will encounter on their journey to become Elden Lord and wield the Elden Ring. Fans will only have to wait a little while longer, until January 21st, 2022, to die repeatedly and painfully once again. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 takes the series back into the clouds. It's also been a while since we've heard of the long-awaited sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Nintendo has finally given players a glimpse at the new game in a teaser, and man, it looks great. The teaser starts with Link skydiving toward a series of floating islands, before cutting to him wielding his glider and floating towards another archipelago. This time around, Link will have the ability to phase through the ground of these floating islands to pop out above and below them, giving the game an entirely new dimension to work with. The sequel's name has yet to be announced, as Nintendo feels it may spoil certain parts for the game. For now, we do know the game is slated for release in 2022. Starfield, a great first look. When Bethesda announced Starfield, it was their first new setting in 25 years. This E3, we finally got a small look at the game in a teaser trailer. The game is said to be set in the distant future, hundreds of years from now. While the teaser trailer gives little information on what the setting and gameplay of Starfield will look like, it offers a great look at the visual aesthetics Bethesda is going for. The company also later confirmed that aliens will be in the game, so it's clear that the universe of Starfield will have a lot more for players to discover. You'll be able to take to the stars on November 11th, 2022. Battlefield 2042 Flashy Future Warfare Skydiving around tornadoes Hovercrafts and even a rocket launch, all shown off in Battlefield 2042's first gameplay trailer. This entry into the Battlefield franchise is set in a world ravaged by climate change, while wars over resource are commonplace. While it won't feature a single-player campaign, it will sport an impressive 120-player team fight mode. The future is coming sooner than you think, as Battlefield 2042 is launching on October 22nd. Metroid Dread, Samus is unprimed and ready. While Nintendo didn't have any new information about Metroid Prime 4 for us at E3, they did one better, a new classic 2D Metroid game. Metroid Dread is set right after the events of Metroid Fusion, and serves as the fifth installment of the original Metroid timeline. The announcement trailer for the game showed Samus fighting off a near-invincible white robot. The robot and its similars chase Samus around the 2D world only stopping when she activated a new cloaking device. Nintendo doesn't want to keep you waiting for a second Metroid game. Metroid Dread is releasing on October 8th. Forza Horizon 5 – Freaky Photorealism Every new console generation sees people saying that video games are edging toward looking like real life. But this generation may actually be the one to meet this goal. Forza Horizon 5's first gameplay trailer showed us actual footage from the game. And if you didn't know it, you may think it was recordings from actual places. The fifth installment of Horizon is going down south a bit, and is set in stunning Mexico. Players can explore a wide range of new areas in 4K, and maybe lose a few races along the way. Forza Horizon 5 is racing to release on November 9th. So maybe we didn't get Nintendo Switch Pro this year. Maybe we still don't have real confirmation on Grand Theft Auto 6. And maybe The Elder Scrolls 6 is still a ways out from having a gameplay trailer. But we did get some great games to look forward to, and some stunning footage of what the next generation of consoles is capable of. Plus, there's always next year.